Firefox hardening is one of the most private and secure ways to browse the internet. But how do you properly do it in 2022? Today, we will walk through how to harden Firefox to keep you as safe as possible on the internet. I'm going back to school, and in the US, that means tuition fees. I also don't want to be sharing my payment information with schools that are commonly victim of data breaches. The solution, I used privacy.com to pay my tuition. Privacy.com lets you generate a single debit card for each website you shop on, or you can even make them single-use burner-style cards, all with max limits and find control over how each card can be used. Tune in later for why I love this service and the special promo we're running with them. First, what is hardening? In layman's terms, hardening is improving the privacy and security of something beyond factory settings. You can look at hardening Firefox as modding your car. This 2022 guide to hardening Firefox is probably pretty different from the advice you've seen in the last few years, and that's because this scene has changed and continues to change a lot. Many extensions are no longer even needed. You don't have to do everything we recommend and we will do our best to summarize kind of the main stuff for you to target for the best bang for your buck. And this video is loosely structured by easy, moderate, and advanced. There is no single perfect way to harden your system. This is an individual process that depends on your needs and your threat model. First, the easy stuff. Enable automatic updates to receive the newest patches. Disable recommended extensions as you browse and disable recommended features as you browse. For most users, make sure DNS over HTTPS is enabled in network connection settings, and we recommend changing from Cloudflare to a more private provider. Privacy Guides breaks down DNS options incredibly well. Make sure snippets are disabled, and consider limiting the recent activity that's shown on the home page if the browser is shared with other users in your home. Change your search engine to a privacy-oriented search engine, and be aware that search suggestions submit queries to that search engine, so disabling this is good for those with higher threat models, but isn't a huge concern if you trust your search engine. Set Firefox's privacy protections to strict, mark Firefox to delete cookies and site data when Firefox is closed, and utilize exceptions if you want to stay logged in to any specific accounts. Make sure pop-ups and the add-on warnings are enabled, disable all Firefox data collection, and make sure all security settings at the bottom are enabled. Firefox 83 introduced HTTPS only mode, so enable it in all windows. This negates the need for HTTPS everywhere, which is likely not going to stay around much longer anyway, as we covered in a recent surveillance report. Finally, avoid untrusted extensions at all costs. This is a rampant issue in the browser space, so make sure to only install what you need and that it's trusted. Everything you just did puts you ahead of more than 99% of people in the world, and it was just basic settings toggles. The most important things to focus on here are automatic updates, changing your search engine, setting Firefox protections to strict, clearing site data when Firefox is closed, enabling all security settings offered, and avoiding untrusted extensions. Everything else so far is supplementary, but should still very much be considered depending on who you are. Now, the moderate stuff. Disclaimer, we won't be diving super far into technical explanations in this video, but we'll link resources when needed for you to dig into these concepts yourself if you're curious behind what these changes do, which you should be doing. JavaScript storage APIs can be used for cross-site tracking. All users who previously toggled that strict privacy protections in the browser receive dynamic state partitioning protection to prevent this, so make sure privacy protections are set to strict like we already covered. Website isolation with fission is a fairly new and important security feature that is not currently enabled by default in production Firefox. To enable it, open Firefox and navigate to about config and set fission.autostart to true, then restart your browser. This is important and it's likely you may find it on by default in the coming months as Mozilla is rolling this out to more and more people. Now, extensions. No longer do we live in the dark ages of using 12 extensions in Firefox. Let's cover what to install. It's not much. Ublock Origin for ad, tracking, and script protection. Firefox containers can be used for better compartmentalization within your browser for different use cases. Smart Refer, ideally in strict mode. Skip Redirect, Canvas Blocker, though this is questionable considering Firefox has its own canvas protection nowadays, which will only improve with time. In fact, 
All of these are semi-questionable with the exception of uBlock Origin. For those wondering about like other extensions you probably know about, uMatrix is no longer maintained and shouldn't be used, not to mention uBlock Origin covers its main bases. Ghostery, Disconnect, Privacy Badger, DuckDuckGo, really any tracker blockers aren't needed with everything we've already done. Neat URLs and clear URLs can be replaced with uBlock Origin's remove param and added lists. HTTPS everywhere, like we covered, is scheduled for deprecation and is replaced with Firefox settings. Local CDN and Decentralized have their own issues that may make things worse off for you. In short, not much is needed nowadays. If you're chasing the best bang for your buck with extensions, just install uBlock Origin and be done with it. The other extensions are supplementary and may not even work in your favor if you don't know how they work and if they're actually benefiting you specifically. Finally, advanced hardening tips. We truly live in a golden age for Firefox hardening. Arkenfox is a project that handles almost all of the advanced hardening techniques conveniently. So that is the main suggestion we have for you. Installing the file is very simple. Open Firefox, go to help in the drop-down menu, more troubleshooting information, click open directory next to profile directory and drag that user.js arkenfox file into the folder. Their wiki can also help you get started as well as how to override things to avoid site breakage, which will happen by default. This is not just a drag and drop step like installing an extension. It's much more involved than that. So don't do this unless you're ready for the entire browser to stop functioning and you needing to override things yourself. Keep in mind, if you use arkenfox and enabled RFP, which is something that's explained in their wiki, smart referrer and can Canvas blocker from the moderate section are almost certainly unneeded if you were even considering them in the first place. Finally, there's a bonus super tip for just getting to the end of the video. Install the Tor browser alongside your hardened Firefox. Neither a factory fresh Firefox nor a hardened Firefox are as good at protecting you from fingerprinting as the Tor browser. Fingerprinting uses the uniqueness of your system to identify you across websites. The Tor browser is the best browser we know of today to address this problem. In fact, that's kind of a misconception with hardening Firefox. Any browser, even Chrome, out of the box, not touching any settings, is still very fingerprintable. And this is backed by research, so don't take our word for it. When you put together the advice, you end up with a very strong browser that is fully tailored to your individual needs. There's no perfect hardening technique for everyone, but whatever you chose um, should take you pretty far for your own needs. Privacy.com lets you shop online as you normally would, but with designated cards for each vendor, or you can use single use cards, set limits, and more to keep your information safe. This is great for privacy, giving you a universal way to hide your normal payment information from the sites you shop with online, which can be dozens, if not hundreds. It's all free to get started, they make money from the normal transaction fees, and the cherry on top is the running a promo with us for $5 of credit for anyone who signs up with them on privacy.com slash techlore. Check them out below, we cannot recommend them enough. First, we want to thank Privacy Guides and Arkenfox for their fantastic work in compiling the latest recommendations for Firefox hardening. Much of this guide was directly influenced by their work, so thank you. Second, this video proves that the browser space is heading in a very exciting direction. It wasn't long ago that we actually had to install 12 extensions and adjust 20 toggles in the About Config menu to achieve probably a lower level of privacy as you can achieve today with a lot less work. Nowadays, changing a few settings in the Firefox menu and installing uBlock Origin will take you almost all the way there. Um, and this is only getting better. Arkenfox themselves wants their project to eventually be unneeded. And it's looking like a very possible reality with how many things Firefox is integrating out of the box down the road making hardening less and less needed with time, which I'm very excited for and everyone should be as it makes having better privacy easier. Third, this video will be outdated someday. I can promise you that this stuff changes all the time. So make sure you're subscribed to catch the newest videos covering any updates we have on this. And that's all we have for you. Thanks so much for watching and go have some fun with your new browser. Lastly, do not forget to support us at patreon.com slash techlore to support our mission in spreading privacy to the masses. The names of our top patrons are being listed below. You can join them by visiting that link. See you all next time on TechLore.